What's up Dapper Squad, it's your boy Darius back at it again with Ranking of Kings, the final little bunch, the final three episodes. Now before I get into anything, with that being said, as some of you guys are aware, with the first and last episode of every show we put on the channel, the full length version, which is normally available exclusively on Patreon, is available for everyone. So make sure to click the link in the top of the description, enjoy that free full length, come back here for the review, and if you guys do like that format, Maybe consider checking out that Patreon. Great benefits. You guys get to watch that for every episode of everything we do with movie reactions coming in the future as well. I appreciate you guys immensely. Um, this is going to be a great finale. Super excited to find out what happens with uh, Boji and Bose. Don't forget to check out the other social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all the Dapper Darius. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here. Leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts down below. I appreciate you guys. Let's hop into this. Ranking of Kings, episodes 21 through 23, starting off with 21. This one's called The Swordsmanship of a King. Let's do this. All right, here we go. You got Boji nervously putting up his sword to Bose. Bose just literally ignoring him. Walking up to Miranjo. So at least she feels some sort of guilt, you know. Then, using Boji as bait. Bolsa, up until a certain point, didn't know her plan. Miranjo was kind of working solo. Oh, that, mm, that was a great shot. So he's acknowledging the rest of Mboji in that, because... These shots, the animation in this episode particularly is fantastic. It's incredible. Oh. So, these are a... He's giving us a choice, but he's more so our official enemy. It's like trying to go against All Might. With Yuki Kaji's voice, come on. It's like trying to go against a Todoroki All Might, I love it. But this episode's and he's thinking of his dad and all the... Memories he has of him. But this is... This is so insane. So to a certain extent, Daido would save Boji. Help him out a couple of times. I remember when he thought Boji was weakless and helpless. And then Bebin, we stepped in helped him out. I think the animation is different for this episode, like in a lot of different aspects. Naruto, when they would bring in that special animator every once in a while, you guys know what I'm talking about? Domas. I actually am very curious what his official stance is going to be, and I'm, I'm happy he did that. He has faltered and wavered before, but not anymore. <laughs> Okay, come on. Bebin? Oh, Bebin's team Dida. Come on. No one actually gives a fuck about Bose. Apius would be the only one with Miranjo and Bose. Even Apius? Boji's got the squad of the best on his side. Come on. Bro, this animation, the heavy dark lines on the outline, it was so fantastic. They were actually ready. Boji's like, whoa, 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 guys, this is serious? We're actually doing this? And then Boji thinks of all the happy memories with them as well. We gotta go to the front. I'm right here with you, boys. <laughs> Despa's one of, the, one of the real ones to say it. Boji's one of the only ones. He's going right in. But is Boji gonna knock Tomas out to spare his own life? Yeah. Okay, Bose is committed as well. Hmm. Even at Boji's speed, oh, Bose's unbelievable strength. He's starting to smile going into this. 
and getting ready. Like honors if it's a proper duel. I still remember the first duel with Dida and Boji, and this is so drastically different from that, it's so crazy. Oh, that imagery of what we're actually fighting is insane. Holy shit. Is this like Mob Psycho? Why are we like in his conscious? Like what he's actually like I love that symbolism. I love the This legit might be some of the best animation I've seen this season. The first crack. That precision. With the wall running, we're fighting the fucking Colossal Titan boss, eh? These perspective shots are way too clean. Why does Wit have to go ham like this? Boji is way too nice with it. Bro, this is like we're God of War, Shadow of the Colossus. Elden Ring style scaling right here. I just love the perspective and the scale. Look at this. With that split right up the club. Bro, I cannot get over how beautifully this is animated. And then it cuts right back to Dida's actual. Oh my god. I love that. I love the way they did that. And just like that. Just like that. I'm gonna have to rewatch that fight multiple times. That is not the swordsmanship of a king. I remember him saying that. Holy shit. Oh my god, that shot right there. I love this. He's going in and out of the smoke, in and out of the dust. The invincible Bose is getting his ass whooped. Kid who was made fun of relentlessly for his extreme weakness oh my god he's going through a roller coaster of emotions right now what happens when the culmination of so many decisions leads to this kind of moment you know I don't know that I want to call him pathetic, because I don't think Bolsa has ever been, like, pathetic. You know, he's someone who fights somewhat honorably till the end, but I've never seen him like this. Even Miranjo is going to be saved by Boji as well. That just shows what sort of legend this kid really is. First place ranking by Daisha. So that's why they keep him. But Desha could be considered up there for number one? That's insane. Now, can we do that? Can we give it back to Dida? Wow. That's some of the ultimate acceptance Miranjo could have. Yes. If this was like a if this was like a Detroit Become Human telltale kind of game, this would be a decision. You either spare Miranjo or kill Miranjo right here. APS is standing in the way. Boji is an actual real one. Curse has been lifted. There's Bose's soul. And I'd have to assume Miranjo's as well. He did say he wasn't going to let Miranjo go. He was going to eat her soul, right? So, yeah, she knew this was going to happen. This is sad. Even in the afterlife, they can't be together. This is sad. I get why Bose is incredibly sad, especially him being the first person perspective of seeing all she had to suffer for none of it being her fault at all. She's in the goddamn shadow realm.
He has an insatiable hunger for souls to an endless world of pain and suffering. Oh, that, oh, that's how it ended. That is very dark. Okay. All right, on to episode 22. This one's called A Promise to a Demon. Let's go. Oh, does Bosse and Daida actually get to have an actual conversation? He gets to show him things. Good. Maybe it'll make Daida understand a little bit of why he got the shortest end of any stick ever. Like, this, I feel so bad for Daida. Oh, that's horribly sad. That man went actual Super Saiyan to save her life. If anyone feels for Miranjo's pain, it's Bose. That is horribly sad. I get it. I think these are a lot of the places they show in the opening. You know, gorgeous, gorgeous areas. Talk about a fisherman. So it was just her natural appreciation over the years of them being together. You know, she wants to help him as much as she can, especially for all that he's done for her, so... I understand it. I get it. This sucks the things you do for love, literally. Not to quote Game of Thrones, but the things you do for love. Wait, are we saying Bose went against one of the gods? Like, head up? Like, squared up? Are we serious? Oh, damn. Bose got fucked up. I mean, I wouldn't exactly, with, even with his strength, expect him to beat a god, you know? Please let me see that fight. I know he does have a third eye and he looks all creepy as shit. The deal with the devil. Really? So he went from that, just granting people's wishes, turn out oh, really? And then he said, I'll never ask you for anything, and that was the first promise she broke. <laughs> right? He feels instantly bad. I know. That's so sad. I'm so glad he feels bad, too. Get mad, too. Fuck, Bosse, I'm saying. And with that newfound strength, he was able to slay the god. And he still did not feel fulfilled. So yeah, he didn't even know. Yep. This has been a culmination. This has been a built up for a good beard. It's, this is crazy. And as we're saying, Daida, it feels like as Bose is saying it in his consciousness. Even his soul is asking for that. He was asking Miranjo to look over Daida, and now he's asking Daida to look over Miranjo. We're gonna have a what? Cross? We're gonna have a crossbow from uh, Hakuro and some lightning from Desha. I mean, when we're talking about gods, that is the power of Satan that Desha is calling upon. So that is some powerful shit. And head clean chopped off. Something tells me though, with Ukin and his powers, I don't think we're gonna be able to kill this thing that easily. Yep. The remove the uh, immortality on Ukin. Mortal again. 
No, what's Boji gonna ask for? Something with Niranjo? Yup, what the hell is gonna happen? And then Daida's gonna ask for something? Bring her back. And that's the wish that was said out loud. That's the one that was directed. Wait, are Daida and Boji actually breaking into the ethereal plane in the afterlife? What the hell is going on? Man, Bose is gone, gone. Boji's just so genuinely saying bye. But what will the cost... Is there going to be a cost of this wish that Daida is making? He did steal Despa's wish, which sucks. So that is the physical... Her physical body. I do feel hella bad for Despa. His his wish got sniped. Talk about a roller coaster of emotions that goes on in the show. Every single person feels like they betrayed every other person at some point, but because we understand why, you know, we all forgive and forget, you know? Talk about a way to look at it. Talk about a, po a positive outlook. That's not what I was expecting at all, but... She's had so many redos, so many second chances, so many people who have been there for her, even though she's gone and done horrible things. So, I do think Despa got the short end of the stick this time, right? She did manipulate Uken, yeah, uh, I get it. I get it. But he did have that, like, in turn, yeah. Wow, he did say- he literally did say that. He could have been. This show is actually incredible when it comes to shit like that. <laughs> okay, Despa, way to be a cool dude. <laughs> okay, that's Despa. I firmly agree. Firmly agree. Diet has learned some respect and some humility, being humble. Hell yeah, now that he knows the Boji backstory as well, you know. This is all touching, I can't lie. So is he gonna take the ranking? He's gonna accept the first, take me to the- Oh, he does get like a godly divine item! For being first, I forgot about that. Holy shit! You got Anne and Hilling. Yeah, they miss out on some on some events. She finally does get to see her son again. <laughs> Hilling is so awesome. Come on, give him a hug. Oh, that's what I was. That's what I was waiting on. <laughs> that's a typical mom right there. Oh, gonna bring me to tears, man. Dida is Dida's fiance. Betrothed. Oh, we actually get to see this? I thought this would be some shit they leave. Like, hanging for season two type shit. Come on, let me see it too. I want to see it. Don't end the episode. Oh, We still have one more episode though, so we still have a chance of seeing the, the fucking item. I want to see it. Alright, on to the final episode, 23 of Ranking of Kings. This one's called The King and the Sun. I am interested. Even Boji and Kage are super happy. This actually did all come to a pretty damn good resolution. 
<laughs> Everyone's just feeling some love. That is the new, yep, Miranjo's mom, Sheena, and Bose. And Sheena's like, yeah, way to turn it around. Bose is incredibly happy. That is touching, man. That is touching as shit, can't lie. And they finally get to move on. That was well done. I like that. <laughs> right? This whole thing has changed everybody. It's a cool shot. Cool transition. He's... He's signing to him too, I love it. I can't not just think back on episode 1 and 2, you know, just... He's still insecure, he's still not super confident in himself, you know. But I get it, man. Boji's going through the ringer. But the one who's gonna give it back is that man, Kage, who just gave him the thousand years of death, K Kakashi style. If you don't believe in yourself, I will put my fingers in your butt. He's the, sh the best shining light Boji could have asked for. And I'm glad Hilling is seeing this too. <laughs> They've all just re reaffirmed the resolutions that this kid is the goat. That's so funny. I know. We're all brought to the, to the edge of tears. See, this feels like this could be the end of the show, you know? Like, this, res this was a pretty damn good resolution. But with everything going on with Daisha and all that, I feel like we're going to set up a season two, you know? They're all trying to catch him to throw him in the air. That man is dodging everything. <laughs> I know. Everyone's coming in. Come on. This is the squad we got. <laughs> Probably weighs nothing. Probably threw him up so high. Oh, look at that. That kid Boji deserves everything, man, I tell ya. Everything and more. <laughs> and we still never got the conclusion what happened to Kage's family, the Shadow Clan, the guy who was killing all the Shadow Clan. There's still more shit that could be, you know, talked about. Where's Kage going? Nah, no way. No way, Kage, you gotta stay. And I like how Bevan was the one that seen him, too. <sighs> this happens, you know, but... Yeah, there is someone. His name is Boji. It's like Killa wasn't gone to me, you know? I love that. I don't think he's actually gonna go. I sure hope not. We have everyone giving their fealty to the new king. He's still got his paper, paper mache one that Kage made him. Then he thinks of Kage and he's like, hey, where's my buddy? I haven't seen him in a minute. You guys seen Kage? It's been a minute. I haven't seen him. Bebin's going to be the one to say, yeah, I saw him leave. Yeah, you're covering your mouth the wrong way, Domas. He's like, oh, shit. What are you doing? <laughs> They're transporting Ukan back. King Bo. Yup, I would recognize that cape. There's not many people with capes. We are saying bye to Despa and the captain, but I feel like we could see him again. He wants revenge on Ukan, I'm assuming, for, uh... Killing him. Damn near. Yep. Beak of the devil. Here comes Ukin. Full fledged. We took Bose last time to stop him because he's like a natural counter to Boji. So now that Bose is not here, who can do this? King Bo chucked that noggin. 
And then he cut the separating gel, and then Noggin's actually going a good distance, okay. So what the hell's gonna happen to Ukin? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> King Bo's crazy. The man's is out here making... Doing some woodwork, a little carpentry. Time for the reborn Kage to begin his new life, okay. No more stealing, we're living an upstanding life. Yeah, that's kind of sucks, no one would want a Shadow Clan member. And pretty discriminated against just based off his race. I'd hire Kage. I'd hire him to be like an editor or something. And he cannot catch a break. And he's still remaining positive, optimistic. Mitsumata Snake? Follow him, see what he wants, see what he's... I don't know, I just want you to come back, Kage, please. Boji himself is here. That was actually a beautiful shot with the sunrise, it looks like. Oh, they found each other. Mitsumata with Bebin. The goat. I knew he would be our, our saving grace. Because he was going to go on an adventure to find you, Kage. Come on. Yes, he was. <laughs> He's like, that's exactly what he is. That is a good, that is a great good luck charm to have. Alright, come on back, Kage. He gave it up. I thought he went on like a little week off vacation as king, but no. He gave it up. What, are they going to continue their adventure? You're going to create your own kingdom? That would be nuts. Knowing you, you could do it, but still. Talk about a task you got ahead of you. Sounds about right, so we're setting up season two. Shouts out Kage, shouts out Boji, shouts out Hilling. <laughs> I could go down the entire fucking list of characters, you know? I'd be like, shouts out Bevin, shouts out Apius, shouts out Hakuro, shouts... So there definitely is some more coming. I pray season two comes out real soon. That was a real good ending. That was a real good send off. Well, talk about a finale in terms of the resolution between Bose, Boji. Really well done with that, that fight in episode 21. One of the best animated fights, honestly, in my, I think ever for me. Like it's gotta be top 10 list. And there's some of the best, you know, there's some S-tier animated fights out there. That was insanity. Um, but the way that resolved with Niranjo, Daida coming back, Bolse, the deal with the devil, like, that was all well done, but not unrealistic. Like, Despa really got shit out of luck, short end of the stick, but he took it with, you know, took it like a chip on the shoulder, and and I love that whole Ukan saying a few episodes ago, like, you have other people to save, like, he really couldn't have been talking about Niranjo. And then Miranjo just finally being forgiven and finally get, being given an actual chance to do good. With Bolse being so happy at Dida's choices. We got Sheena and Miranjo's mom finally being able to move on in the afterlife. 
so well done with Apius and, and the, the entire big four standing up to Bolse and then standing up to Daida saying, no, Boji is the GOAT. This kid is the GOAT. And then obviously Boji and uh, Kage having their little, not spat, but Kage going through some internal turmoil that happens. I understand it, especially with how much it's been going on. I understand. But he, just like he was saying, he needs Boji. Boji needed him just as much, though. They're together now. They're, Boji's going to start his own kingdom. We never got to see what happened with Daisha. So, like, there, I need season two bad. I need some I need some new ranking of Kings content. Yes, sir. Damn, that was really good. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Oh, I don't I don't know exactly what's going to be replacing this yet. You know, there's still some poll stuff to work out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, like I said, check out uh, don't forget to subscribe, click that bell, check out that Patreon early access full length. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that free full length. Um, don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Be like Boji. Be best boy, guys. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.